What's going on guys? Stefan with you, s &E's Garage. As you'll see, we're behind our 2013 Kawasaki uh, 15F jet ski. Uh, this is the one that was featured in my last video where uh, I let you know we picked this thing up. It's going to be a winter project. And I also let you know I was going to let those uh, pistons soak for a little bit with that PV blaster in there. And uh, we've done that and we've gone a step further in, in checking this thing out. Now, I beat the heck out of the top of these pistons for a good 5-10 minutes um, and we got absolutely nowhere. They are not budging. So what I went ahead and did is I removed the jet pump. So right here is where our jet pump would be and it's very simple to remove. There's only four bolts. One, two, three, four. You have your reverse bucket here that disconnects right here and then you have your steering cable that disconnects right here and what that will leave you with is your drive shaft. Now, your jet pump here should spin by hand. And you'll see this one is locked completely solid. Now, where our issue is, is in this wear ring. Right there, you'll see all that corrosion. That corrosion has actually caused this jet pump to completely lock up. So here you'll see the steering nozzle which also unbolts, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add a jet pump housing assembly uh, to our list. We're also going to need a new impeller, as this impeller here is not exactly in the best of shape. It's not the worst, but um, it makes more sense for me to just get a completely new housing and start off fresh. Uh, what we're probably going to do is buy a brand new jet pump. We're going to put the new jet pump in our newer jet ski. And then we're going to take the jet pump from that, rebuild it, and put it in here. Um, I just thought it was rather important for me to show you guys this. Because this is the first step you're going to take um, in diagnosing your jet ski if it has a seized engine. If your engine does not crank and you cannot get it to spin... The first thing you're wanna you're gonna want to do is check this jet pump uh, to make sure that it is not seized up. Um, in my case, this jet pump is very much seized, uh, but our problems go a little bit deeper than that. I just wanted to show this to you guys. Now, once you get your jet pump out, what you're going to want to do is you're gonna want to take a pair of channel locks, vice grips, uh, monkey wrench, something of the sort, and you're gonna want to put it on your output shaft here, but you want to be very careful not to damage the splines. If your engine is okay with the spark plugs removed, it should take a very, very minimal uh, force to get that engine to spin. And off camera, I had a, a rag wrapped around this uh, output shaft, and I was leaning on it with my uh, channel locks, and she wouldn't budge. Uh, so, like I said, we know this thing is seized. So, this weekend, probably, I'm going to get this thing in the garage. And, uh, we're going to start pulling the engine and see exactly what we need. Uh, I've talked to a couple different people. Uh, we may have a couple of sponsors lined up for this. Uh, so, we'll see what happens. That would be really cool. It allows me to bring you guys more content. Um, and you guys watching these videos, liking them, sharing them, subscribing to them also helps so much. So please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.